Come. Yeah. Right there should be a what? No, it's right there. Okay. Okay. And it lay. I wasn't sure if this was gonna work. I've actually broke four-wheeler tires down with a backhoe before, using a tooth to catch them. So those are my lawnmower tires, and uh, decided I'd try it with the Mini. And the first one, I mean, just like that right there. So I'm gonna show you how I do it here, just in case somebody ever needs to do something like this. I'll move the camera. like a top man I mean I'll show y'all I'm about to mount on those things right quick I'll let y'all watch me move again I already unmounted one got the slick them on Lucky it'll take air. If we ain't, it's still gonna take air. See if we're lucky or not here.
Boy, that thing looks even more beastly. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Let some air out of them. I got them too, too high right now. So it's dark, but man, I had to go try it. And uh, you can see right here, the pond, there's a pond right there, just run right along the edge of it there. But I had to give it a whirl, man, in the dark. The thing will, will absolutely, teetotally go now. And it don't scuff the yard up near as bad as what you think it would either. And when the yard's dry, it leaves some cleat marks when it's wet, when it's dry. It's no worse than regular uh, turf tires. So uh, hang in there and enjoy the rest of this video. So the other night I, I cooked ribeyes and I didn't even film nothing, Jill. And they were delicious. Yeah, they were good. So Jill's cleaning up. There's my cutting board from Make Woodworks. It's cool as heck. So we got a uh, hush puppy mix right there. I've done done up i just gotta put the buttermilk in it wait till last do that we got the uh, catfish batter battered up ready to rock and roll with some batter from uh cycles meal and we got some fries right here so just lit the bayou classic we're gonna let her warm up to temperature these things are uh very good fryers however my one dislike on them just cleaning them out. They are not the most user-friendly thing to clean what's in the very bottom of them out. Even after you drain the oil out of them there, they're a little bit a little bit tough to get your hand down in, but they fry good, really good. So we're gonna let her warm up and then we're gonna start putting right, stuff so up. Here is the finished product of it. The fish, hush puppies, and fries over there too. So that's it. What y'all doing, huh? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Tater. So it rained all day today. This is after the cooking that y'all just seen. You see the water standing over there. And I come out here to feed them and you can see what how, the, how well this done. And there's no water standing here now on this. Which is a good thing, because normally this area right here would have been standing in water right there on this side of that bottom piece right there. But it's dry now, so that's good. I like, look at how, it's, you see his hair on his, his chest hair, how white it is down there. I like their little beards on them, see that they'll have. So, uh, yep, good dogs. And they're not, they're both Jag Terriers, but they're not, they're not brother and sister. They came from the same guy, but their moms and dads are two different, two different parents. So they can be bred together. And that's the game plan is to breed Sadie with Dodge. I know. With Dodge. And uh, have some puppies. Ain't that right, girl? Let's wrap this video up with a giveaway here. I've got a prize package that I've kind of put together here. I've got, uh, this is for Mother's Day. So here's what we're gonna do. I don't have, I have two shirts here. These are John Deere shirts. This is the pink one. And it's an extra large. So that's all the size I have on this right here is extra large. So I'm gonna include this right here, brand new. And then also I have another John Deere shirt right here. This is also an extra large, so it can be a his and hers or or anything like that. So have some working girls out there that uh, need some high-vis stuff. Here you go. Both of these were uh, donated to me uh, back at, uh, I believe it was at the show in, in Bangor, Maine, when we were up there. And then also I'm gonna include a bag. This gentleman from the uh, John Deere Tech program gave me a bag of uh, John Deere swag also. So this is gonna be a John Deere themed thing. And it has, uh, I've already given away some stuff that was in this bag. So there's a couple of uh, John Deere koozies. Got a white one right there. Got a camo one right there. And we got uh, a couple of pins. This tech program is over there in Georgia. We got a John Deere lanyard. 
and then some keychains, carabiner, keychains, and stuff like that. So I'm going to give all this stuff away to one person. And all you got to do is just comment down below in the uh, comments and you will be entered. And tonight I will draw a winner from the comments. Be sure I can get in touch with you. Uh, you know, it'll some, be sometime tonight, probably 8.30, 9 o'clock, something like that. Be sure that I can get in touch with you if you want to drop your email in the in the uh you know in your comment there drop your e email in there where i can just email you direct or whatever but i got everything shipped out last week that uh, i give away in prizes gave away quite a bit of stuff last week everything got claimed except for the guy on the hkd blue cap and uh so i'll be uh re-giving it away also and uh so Anyhow, and then there'll be some other stuff. It, uh, I give away the, the all the stuff I did last week. It almost got a little confusing there because it is so so much stuff. So, again, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, and uh, and think about the people you know who who may not have their moms you know no more. And uh, but hope you have a good day. Very cool this morning again here, and but it's sunny and beautiful. So uh, we'll catch y'all later. Later, Taters.